I think what attracted me to New England vernacular architecture really is its sense of history and that the architecture grew over time. So if there was a 1700s house and they built a barn and then later on they connected the barn to the house and there was a livery stable or things like that, there's this clear definition of how the house grew over time, but yet the whole ensemble still works together. And that's very appealing to me because it's really hearth and home. I once heard a quote, if, if you don't know history, you know, you don't know anything. You know, constantly as architects, we're looking at history and drawing on history. And it's setting precedence for the work that we do. And whether it's success or failures, I think there's always something to be learned.